thing that you notice pretty, pretty quickly, I feel like, is that a lot of Americans are very, you know, proud. Uh, they are proud people. And uh, it's not negative, but it's very different because in Sweden it's more, uh, um, it's a little bit, you know, taboo to be like that proud of your country. You want like everything to be, um, you want to. You as a person are supposed to like think uh, as much as everyone else as you think about your own in kind of way, and I feel like yeah, it takes away the sense that that you're really proud of you know being a Swedish person you know. Uh, but here I feel like yeah, everyone is proud, and when you talk to people, they're very like nice and saying what's nice about a country and you know stuff like that, um, and, and that's something that I noticed too. Um, and also, also just like um, by that, when you ask them stuff, they're also very kind. You know, always like explaining stuff, everything very, very nicely. And I can always go to someone to you know get help and stuff, um, and they answer you like very nice. Um, because as part of like being proud, I feel like they want to like portray the best of themselves. So they're always like outgoing and always like trying to. Um, uh, trying to show the best side of this stuff and I really like that, I think that's a good like quality. So firstly I came to America to play soccer and I really just focused on the aspect of like playing soccer and I didn't at all think about the athlete, you know, student athlete, you know. Um, oh, the student in the, the student athlete. So I only thought about like playing and stuff. So my first school I went to was actually in um, north, like upstate New York, um, at the D1 school there. But uh, I didn't like it very much, and uh, I went there because of like money, and they wanted me and stuff for soccer. And it was actually the same reason why I came here. Uh, and I was just lucky; that it was like a beautiful place, you know, too. But uh, what really dragged me here was the was the soccer and what the coach said that they could offer to me and stuff. I don't think it like impacts me that much. I feel like uh, uh, people here are very like used to international students and I think Flagler and like everyone around me has done a like great job in like making me feel like uh, I'm a Flagler student rather than being like a Swedish guy, you know. Um, but if you like take that out, you know, it's obviously a little bit hard with like um, language sometimes. It can be hard, like some systems uh, comparing to Sweden, the school system is a little bit different. So I remember in the beginning I had a hard time really getting into the system uh, of, of school with how everything should be written. and how you should approach the professors and stuff like that. Um, so, in the beginning it was mostly those kinds of stuff, but now as I've been here for a while, I feel like um, I'm really included in like the Flagler um, organization, or what to say, the society around here. And, uh, I don't feel like it's impacted me so much, actually. In Sweden, where it's mandatory to go to English classes from when you're six years old, I think. So from then we had like English, you know, four or five hours a week ever since. So I, I speak English like majority of my life. When I came here, that I really, you know, like, you learn best when you're in it, you know. Getting into a group of people and. The so I haven't really had any social comms. It's only been like I'm I'm uh, outgoing, so I've had it very easy. And like as I said, you know, getting friends and stuff. Even though you come here by yourself, you're thinking, you know, maybe for you too going to a new college that uh, it would be hard, you know, getting new friends and stuff. But it's very easy to get into uh, like friendships and stuff like that. So that's very uh, that, that's really a calm. Um, but you know, as I said at the beginning, oh, that's a pro. But 
as I said in the beginning, the con could be, you know, a structure of things, you know, everything from getting like a, a phone number to like uh, creating a bank account and, you know, it's, it's hard to, you know, um, get those, come into their life like properly. As you get into like a group or something, everyone, you know, affects each other. So, so at many places around these campuses where I'm like present, I, I can feel some kind of like uh, cultural like uh, similarities and stuff. Um, because like we've got the chance to like affect each other and learn from each other. Um, and also like, even though we're far from each other, uh, America and Sweden, it's still like a developed society and stuff. And uh, it's, it's not that different. Um, it's not that much of a difference. Uh, not that you're going to like, not uh, like be familiar at all, but it's, it, it is very similar, but I feel like one thing that's um, important is that you um, are open to like changes and that you can learn and exchange like cultures, cultural ideas with each other. And I, may, I think that makes people like feel more at home and like stuff too. This school compared to my other school, uh, they have a really professional like international department that really like stays on top of things and that uh, even though they're not foreign themselves they have a, it feels like they have a really good understanding in what it means to come here from another country you know with everything from being alone to like not being able to talk to anyone or something like that um, so I really feel like they they're doing a good job in uh, in like being there and providing information and resources for someone to uh, to use, you know, because it can be everything from like, I miss my mom, to uh, where should I go if there's a hurricane, you know, and I think that they're really like being there as a support um, uh, for you, and also I feel like Flag, you know, they have a big uh, um, place, they have a lot of different like clubs and stuff that you as an international can be a part of or participate in and even though I'm not a part of any like club like that, except soccer team, uh, the option is still there and they can do a lot for me as an international to feel included and more connected to the flag of exercise.